This is an excerpt from an article from MysteriousUniverse.org entitled Bizarre Stories of Mysterious Portals to Hell by Brent Swanser. Yet another alleged portal to hell can be found in California. The aptly named Devil's Gate Dam was constructed in 1920 in the Pasadena area of California to control floodwaters coming down the San Gabriel Mountains through the Arroyo Seco, and was named for an odd rock outcropping nearby that looks vaguely like a horned devil face complete with pointed chin. Even before the dam was built, the area was steeped in dark myths and legends by the native peoples here, and it was said to be the haunt of numerous evil spirits. In later years, the area would lose none of its purported paranormal qualities, and in the 1940s attracted the attention of Caltech rocket scientist and noted occultist Jack Parsons, one of the founders of the Jet Propulsion Labs and also heavily involved with a mystical cult called the Ordo Templi Orientis, which was based on the teachings of famed occultist and magician Aleister Crowley. Parsons believed the energy of the Devil's Gate Dam area to be potent, and indeed Crowley himself had allegedly called it, quote, one of the seven Seven gates of hell, end quote. Because of this mystical energy, Parsons took part in a variety of magical rituals here which are said to have actually succeeded in opening a portal to a dark dimension, possibly hell itself, from which negative energy and strange, twisted entities could pass over into our world. Indeed, it is rumored that Parsons intentionally chose this area as the location for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory campus primarily due to this magical energy, which he believed could be channeled and harnessed to help in their endeavors. Fueling the sinister reputation of the Devil's Gate Dam was a series of mysterious vanishings and murders of children here in the 50s and 60s. 13-year-old Donald Lee Baker and 11-year-old Brenda Howell both went missing as they rode their bicycles through a recreation area near the dam in 1956, vanishing to leave behind only their bicycles and a jacket. 13 years later, their disappearance would be solved when serial killer Mac Ray Edwards finally confessed to murdering the two children and burying their corpses under the asphalt of a freeway. Two other vanishings that happened at the Devil's Gate Dam were not so easily solved and indeed remain a total mystery. In March of 1957, eight-year-old Tommy Bowman was hiking in the area with his family when he ran ahead, rounded a bend, and vanished from the face of the earth. Despite extensive searches and investigation, he has never been found. In 1960, six-year-old Bruce Creeman was at a YMCA summer camp in the vicinity of the dam when he told his counselor he was not feeling well. He then made his way back to the nearby camp, only about 300 yards away and seemed to have stepped off the face of the earth. He never arrived at the camp and was never found, despite intensive searches. Adding to the strangeness blanketing the area is a bridge which attracts an inordinate number of suicides, called simply Suicide Bridge, as well as an intensely haunted house called the Cobb Estate. All three of these locations are sometimes referred to by paranormal investigators as the Arroyo Triangle. The Devil's Head Dam continues to accrue reports of weirdness to this day, with sightings of strange apparitions eyes glowing and flickering in the dark, and screams and sounds of torment coming from a dark tunnel in the dam sealed off by a locked gate allegedly to keep things from getting out. Whether it is really the location of some portal to hell or not, the Devil's Gate Dam is certainly imbued with its share of scary stories and lore.